Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and today it's again about earpieces, headphones or however you want to call them. In the last episode I introduced you to the properties of uh, these um, crystal earphone or earpiece. Um, now we'll uh, take this apart for a moment and concentrate onto the usability of uh, electromagnetic or electro magnetodynamic uh, headphones, the standard that you get today when you buy headphones. And the first uh, we thought of was a, a modern headphone. This is a cheap one, but with a neodymium uh, super magnets. Um, and our guess was uh, that from the data sheet, they were uh, that they must be extremely sensitive so extremely effective in um, transferring electrical energy into uh, acoustic energy and therefore they should be the uh, the modern uh, super magnet neodym neodymium uh, earphones we thought they would be the first choice for our forthcoming crystal radio but let's just take some measurements and before comparing the uh, effectiveness of them, the sensitivity, uh, let's take a standard measurement of their properties, of their basic properties with our LCR meter. Again, uh, uh, turn to one kilohertz measurement frequency. And we measure uh, not the two capsules in series, but just a one capsule, just to compare this. They are, uh, most of them today are um, used for or are constructed uh, with a very low impedance of uh, around standard is 32 ohms. And that's uh, because they are mainly used for smartphone or iPod or whatever uses, uh, whatever devices uh, you have. Um, this has changed a lot from former times, which we will see in a minute. So standard uh, headphones today have an impedance around 32 ohms. Some have 16 ohms per capsule, some have 50 or 64 ohms, but the standard, as you can see, is 32 ohms. This, this says at the moment nothing about the sensitivity, only about the impedance. Um, let's see what other properties we have. We have a serious inductivity that is clear because there is a coil inside which generates the uh, magnetic field to move the membrane um, and in the end to generate the acoustic sound. We in this case have 85 microhenry. Do we see something else? Well, the serious capacitance doesn't have to interest us. It's anyway so big that it's nearly, uh, we, we can completely neglect this. And uh, let's see if this changes with frequency. Let's go up to 10 kilohertz. We still have 32 ohm um, serious resistance. We can take this as the effective load impedance that would be presented to our crystal radio. And of course you can already see, well, 32 ohms, that is so low uh, that our, the voltage would completely break together. Uh, they are totally unusable for crystal radios, uh, but we were not interested in the, at the first point in the usability or unusability concerning their impedance, but about their sensitivity. Uh, if you put one milliwatt of power into them, uh, how loud is the sound? How much dB do you get out of them? And they are uh, advertised with a, a sensitivity of 105 dB per milliwatt of electrical energy. And you can, you can calculate then the current and whatever. Anyway, we have a, a constant relatively with frequency. Let's see if we still get a value at uh, 100 Hertz. Uh, so we get again something around now a little bit more than 32 ohms, but we have a relatively constant 
uh, series resistance in this case which is equal to the load impedance of something around 32 ohms. So let's put this one away and take another one, a vintage hi-fi um, headphone from AKG, the K260 Professional. Some of you might know this or even own one because it was very popular in the 1980s and 90s. And let's see what properties we have after I fiddle out to connect the probes. And let's first of all change the frequency again to one kilohertz. And we now get 640 ohms, or display is 0.6395 kilo ohms, but uh, let's uh, round this to the standard uh, headphone impedance we had, um, well, let's say in the 1960s to the 1980s, and that, that was for hi-fi listening, it was just 600 ohms. Um, this is much more usable uh, for crystal radios because we, if we put the two capsules in series, we already get 1.2 or nearly 1.3 kilo ohms. Um, much more useful uh, because what we need in a crystal radio is a, as high an impedance as possible. And, but on the, uh, just as important as a high impedance is how good they are at um, transferring electrical energy to acoustic energy to sound. And that means how sensitive they are. And you won't believe it, uh, this one is stated in the uh, data sheet uh, with a 10 dB less sensitivity than the cheap 32 ohm headphone I showed you today. This is uh, 20 or 30 years older and what we found out when really listening to them is that they are in fact not 10 dB less sensitive but 10 dB more sensitive. So um, this is, uh, I don't know uh, where the value of 105 dB per milliwatt from for these modern super magnet neodymium uh, headphone, how they, uh, th that must be a lie. And uh, a quality brand like AKG, they don't lie. So we can trust the, the stated sensitivity of 97 dB per milliwatt of electrical power uh, much more. And our tests have shown these are 10 dB more sensitive and therefore much more useful for crystal radios. But there is a little uh, secret for the uh, crystal radio buffs and that is something that I beforehand never have heard of and I just had to look up at Wikipedia about the theory and that is the so-called balanced armature um, magnetic uh, headphones or capsules in this uh, case. They are even today uh, used uh, for so-called uh, deck talkers, for example. Uh, if you put, if you use, you can use this even as a microphone and you don't need any power source. They are so sensitive that you, if you just couple one as a microphone and a second as an earphone, you don't need any power. This is, for example, used on uh, ships or even submarines in case your electrical, your, there is no more power because your power generator has went down. Uh, you still can talk from the, from the command bridge, for example, to, uh, down to the, uh, to the engine people with these uh, kind of uh, deck talkers or these balanced armature, um, earphones and microphones uh, that are uh, usable without any external power. Um, let's see what we find as a data on the back. Nothing. They are stated with an impedance of 300 ohms. Now let's 
try and see if we can confirm this. Let's again connect the LCR meter. See what we get. Perhaps you even can hear now the measurement sound uh, of one kilohertz. Already that is an indication that you can hear, uh, perhaps can hear, that. I can hear it relatively loud, that uh, they are very sensitive and very effective in, um, in transferring uh, the very low power energy we have in our crystal radio to, to sound. And uh, they are stated with 300 ohms uh, impedance. Uh, but we can only measure 172. Let's see what other properties we have. The DC resistance that always takes quite some time with the LCR meter until the value is displayed. So the DC res resistance even is only 52 ohms. Uh, but what is important for us is the series resistance. And that is 170 ohms. I'm a bit confused why they state this with an impedance of uh, 300 ohms. Perhaps because if you connect two of them in series, then you get, of course, something around 300 ohms. So uh, the, the absolute value is, uh, is not very suitable for crystal radios because it's quite low. Putting two in series with then 300, 340, uh, 350 ohms, we get in the range of usability, but their effectiveness uh, is extremely uh, good. It's again around 10 dBs more than uh, the AKG headphone we saw uh, just before. Let's see if this changes with frequency. Just to get an impression, aha, uh -huh. at a higher frequency, we get uh, 550 ohms. And now let's go down to 100 hertz. I'm not sure. And there we get 55 ohms. So uh, apparently the series resistance uh, increases with frequency. At the lower tones, the lower frequency, we have still uh, a very uh, the lower impedance and at one kilohertz the standard measurement frequency for audio we get 170 ohms um, now uh, finally let me sum up what we found out the um, which are the best ones uh, first of all in terms of their e effectiveness uh, the best one is this lookup balanced armature in Wikipedia. It's a uh, subdivision of the, I think, of the headphone article. The second best are crystal ear pieces. And the third best are uh, 600 ohm high quality, high sensitivity, hi fi um, ear headphones. And the worst was the most modern one, this one here, the super high-end neodymium, super magnet, super sensitive. This was, in fact, the worst. So uh, you really cannot trust uh, the data that are published or advertised. Uh, you really have to try it out. And um, we were quite surprised to get this. And the, the uh, difference between the three is all around 10 dB. So uh, the crystal earpiece is 10 dB less uh, sensitive uh, or less effective than the balanced armature um, capsule. And again, the um, 600 ohm hi-fi headphone was also again around 10 dB less sensitive than the crystal earpiece. And again, 10 dB worse. That's why I already took it away, was this modern um, 32 ohms headphones. So quite interesting for us and we will uh, in a few weeks show you a live demonstration with our uh, new crystal, super crystal radio set uh, just to show you 
uh, the difference in sensitivity and what the difference in impedance, in load impedance to, to the crystal radio. Uh, if, well, what, what this all comes up uh, to, if really, uh, if the uh, 10 dB distance between the three uh, models, if this really translate also into 10 dB uh, difference when uh, used at a really good crystal radio set. So that was it for uh, today. Thanks for watching and look out for the next episode around in two to three weeks. I hope to present you our new crystal radio set. That was it. Thanks for watching. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs. Until next time.